بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزان أمك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين We finished uh, si- chapter 6, yes? 5.6, yes. Yes, section 5, chapter 6. We have two more chapters left from section 5. Chapter 7, في الكلية والجزئية ونحو وجود It's about كلية and جزئية كلية means universal, جزئية means particular And about their type of existence You may wonder why we discuss this We have already studied this in logic, in mantle Because we said المفهوم إما كلية Oh, Josie, any concept is either Kulli or Josie in Mantel. But the reason we discuss it here is because it relates to existence. We want to see what type of existence they have. Okay? First, we start with a definition. We said, Al Kulli ma la yamtan usadquhu ala kathirin. Kulli is something that. It's not impossible to apply to more than one instance or individual. We don't say there must be many individuals. We say it's possible. Maybe we have a colleague who has no instance, like dinosaur. Right now, we don't have any dinosaur, but still this is colleague. Because if there are many dinosaurs, we can apply this term to them, this concept. Sometimes you may have a kulli which has only one instance, like wajibul wujud. Wajibul wujud as a concept is kulli. But how many wajibul wujud can be there? Only one. But because concept is kulli, we have to then prove. That wajibul wujud is one. Yeah, we bring to argument for tawhid. And there can be kulli which has more than one. So either kulli has no one actually right now, or has one, or maybe have more, like human being, like flower, many concepts, you know, horse, you know, you know wood, you know, these are concepts that have many instances. Some people have thought, this is important for our discussion in this chapter. Some people have thought the reason something is kulli is because our perception, our understanding, our knowledge of it has problems. If you understand something with all details, it becomes juz'i. But if you don't have some of the details, it becomes kulli. Like, for example, if you have a coin which is new and all the scripts are visible, you understand that this is, for example, pound. But if it is old and uh, sorn out, so you may say, is it pound or is it euro, for example. In reality, it's only one. But because you don't know which one, so you say, you say it can be pound, it can be also euro. So some people have thought we start with juz'i, over time, maybe we forget some details, it becomes kulli. But we say, no, these are two different concepts. Kulli is kulli, and 
from the beginning it is kulli. And juz'i, like Zayd Amr back for human being, are understood differently. Sometimes we understand kulli first, sometimes we understand juz'i first, and then we do tajreed or entaza. Do you remember tajreed is to come to ma'ulat ula? And intizar is to come to ma'ulat sani. Remember the difference? A very good explanation here, a good argument to disprove the idea of these people is when it is like the coin which is wiped at their hamel mamsuh. In reality, it's only one of them. It's, for example, either pound or euro. Either dinar of, for example, this country or dinar of that country. Is ahadu homa. One of them. But you don't know. Ala tardid. Say either this or that. But kulli is different. Kulli is both. Big difference. When you say insan, it can be Zayd or Am or Bak. Equally, and all of them can be correct. If you see something is moving in distance, and you see, oh, it's moving, and it's on, standing on the legs, so might be a human being, might be a bear. So because you cannot see, you say, this can be in sun or can be a beer. But in reality, it's one of them. It's not kulli, which is including both in sun and beer. In Arabic, they say dob. Dob means beer. Al-faslu sabi' fil kulli wal in kulli means universal, juz'i particular, and type of their existence. What type of existence they have? Rubama dhun. Sometimes it is thought. They say it is an idea of muhaqqa dawani that had this idea. أن الكلية والجزئية أنما هما في نحو الإدراك. Sometimes it is thought that universality or particularity are only in the type of perception, understanding. فالإدراك الحسي لقوته يدرك الشيء بنحو يمتاز من غيره مطلقا. الإدراك الحسي means perception. You know your sensual perception, like watching, hearing, touching this type of it. They say because this is powerful, so understands or perceives things in the way that they are distinct from anything else. Because it have lots of details. When you see something or you touch something, then it's very <coughs> distinct. <laughs> but intellectual perception, because kulli is in aql, kulli cannot be in outside, yeah? So kulli is in aql. They say hes is strong because it has all the details, aqli is weak. وَالْإِدْرَاكُ الْعَقْلِ لِذَعْفِهِ يُدْرِكُهُ مِنْ يُدْرِكُ الشَّهِ بِنَحْبًا لَا يَمْتَعُزُ مُطْلَقًا Understand things in the way that would not make it distinct. And therefore, because it's not very distinct, يَغْبَلُ الْإِنْتِبَاقُ عَلَى أَكْثَرَ مِنْ وَاحِدٍ It would accept to be applied to more than one. Okay? Many times this happens, you doubt between two or three things because you don't remember the details. For example, you say, I don't know, I met him on Tuesday or Wednesday. Because you forgot 
they tell. You know that it was not other days, but either Tuesday or Wednesday. Or you say, for example, I met him either in this city or in that city. I don't remember. I met him in Rome or I met him in London. They thought Ezra Kulli is like this, but this is wrong. This is not Kulli. Because it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. It was not both. Either you met him here or in London, not both. What Kulli is true for both, really. It's not a matter of because of lack of your understanding or you know forgetting because of forgetting something. When you see Shaba means shadow or ghost. When you see a ghost or a shadow from distance, Al Muhtamal, which is likely to be Zaid or Amran, so either two human beings you doubt between them, or even you say Oh, Khashabatan Mansuba. Maybe it's a wood which is standing. It is fixed in the way that it is standing. Oh, Gayrodalek. Maybe it's a beer. Vahova Ahaduhuman Katan. But it is only one of them. Cannot be both Zaid and An or Zaid and Khashab. It's only one of them. Vakadir Hamel Mamsuh. The dirham means silver coin, which is mamsu, means it's wiped, means it's sorn out, pardon, worn out. Al qabil lil intibag ala darahim amutlaka, which can be applied to different dirham, dirham of Mecca or Medina or Kufa. You know, in the past, they used to have different coins. Even today, different countries. They have different things. Okay, this is what some people have thought. So they thought the difference is in accuracy of understanding. Yes, Mahid one is ideal. Vayadfa'uhu. But it is refuted. This idea is refuted. The implication, the outcome of this idea is If this is right, it implies that universal concept can truly be applied to one of their instances. Yeah, not all of them equally. They cannot be applied to more than one of their instances truly. Also, another implication is an yakzibal qawaninu al kulliya al muntabiqatu ala mawaridha la mutanahiya illa fi wahd al minhaf. All the universal general rules and laws that apply to endless cases should be only true about one case. For example, you say water boils in 100 centigrade. Is it only one water that you forgot? And you don't know which water is that? <laughs> because if you say Kuli was only for one case that you don't remember, then it means that only one uh, case of water is subject to this law and others are not but we know any water that exists even any water that may come to exist in future they are all really under this law when we say four is even every four four apple for orange truly every contingent being has a cause for its existence Every country, not just one of them that I don't remember which one was that. And this is against the clear judgment of our conscience, our 
or you can say it's counterintuitive. Yes? It's counterintuitive. Falhaqo an al kulliyata wa juz'iyya nahwan min wujud al mahi. The reality, the truth is that to be kulli or juz'i, universal, particular, are two types of existence of mahiya. This is why we discussed it in this section. If mahiya exists with external existence, with wujud kharaji, it becomes juzi. If mahiya exists with mental existence, it can be kulli. Okay? In the outside world, we can never have kulli. In the outside world. We can have kulli in our mind that applies to them, but you can never have kulli. Anything outside is juz'i haqiqi. Therefore, now we have another discussion. The last chapter here is fi tamayyuz al mahiyat wa tashakhusaha. Yes. No. It can be juz'i, but if it is connected to wujud because mahiyat is always kulli it's only wujud that can make it really juicy this is the next topic so the eighth and final chapter of section five is fi tamayyuz al mahiyat wa tashakhus two important points tamayyuz al mahiyat what makes mahiyat distinct and what makes them individual you know how good it is that you know arabic because these are terms which are constantly used by philosophers and you know you have to read them in the original language so tamayyuz and tashakhus shakhs individual tashakhus means uh, individuation or to become individual but tamayyuz means to be distinct for example is and son different from faras yes so these are two distinct mahiya what is this called tamayyuz but is insan mutashakhis? No. Insan is not mutashakhis. Zayd is mutashakhis. Yeah? Insan is kulli. So, mahiyat can have tashakhis? No. Unless they belong to wujud kharaji, to external being. If they become mawjud, then they have tashakhis. Otherwise, they don't have tashakhis. So let's first start with tamayyus. What makes two mahiya distinct from each other? No, no. Even if they don't exist, they are distinct from each other. Horse and, for example, cow, they are separate from each other. Whether they exist or not, it doesn't make them different. Horse is horse, cow is cow. Whether they exist or not, this is the fact. What makes mahiyat separate from each other is one of these. Either they are mutamayyiz bitamam is that. Means their mahiyat is totally different. Now that you know gens and fast and no, you can tell me which type of mahiyat are totally different. Because no can be uh, the same in gems. Ensan and Faras are different in no, but they are not totally different. If they are going to be totally different, a stone, no. They are not totally different because they are just. No. If they belong to different categories, you know, we have. Those jensul ajnas, those maqula, ten maqula, maqula ash, they are jensul ajnas, they are the top genus. They are parallel to each other. 
if something is calm and another thing is kaif. They are totally different. If something is johar, another thing is kam or kaif or any aras. They are totally different. Okay? So, sometimes two mahiya are separate from each other because they belong to two different categories. Like, insan and number. Four. Four is kam. Kam munfasir. Insan is Johar. So they are totally different. So Tamayuzul Mahiyat Emma Bitamam is that sometimes it is because their essence is totally different. And that is when they belong to different categories. Sometimes the Ba'dizat. Sometimes they are different from each other because part of their essence. Is different and that is when they share genus yeah either the lowest the nearest genus like Ensan and Faras Ensan and Faras are the same in Ensan uh, yeah, but they are different in no but Ensan and Shajar they are the same in Jasmine Nami. Yeah? But Ensan is also Haywan and Mutaharraki Bil Irada. But Shajar is not Hassas Mutaharraki Bil Irada. So sometimes two things uh, share part of their essence. It can be maximum when they are two types, two nor of the same genus. Like insan and faras. Sometimes it's partially like insan and shajar or insan and stone. Insan and stone, they share jismiya. Okay? Sometimes they are uh, distinct not because of tamamuzat or juzuzat. They are distinct because of something outside, external. For example, uh, al insan, which is tawil, al insan, which is kasir. Two human beings, one of them is high, one is short. So both of them share the same essence because insaniya is no, it means tamamuzat, the same. They are different in size, in height, in weight, in shape, in gender, in other things. So this is kharaj, outside the essence. Okay? So this is for those things which are different individuals of the same type. So different individuals of the same type, they share their essence, but they are different because of external things. Those things that are sharing part of essence, they can share jensa qarib or jensa mutawasset or jensa ba'id. And if they belong to two different categories, means they are mutamayyaz but tamam zat. They are 100% different in their essence, I mean. Some people have said we have fourth type of tamayyaz for mahiyat. Mahiyat can be different in another way as well. And that is in intensity. Beshidda. Yes? They can be two mahiya, but one of them is strong. Yes, but we will come back to this and we will I will ask you a question about it. No. This is different from Mullah Sadra. I want to see who would understand? But don't look at anything till we reach here. <laughs> okay. Tamayyuzu mahiyyatin min mahiyyatin ukhra beynunatuha minha. Distinctness. We can say distinctness of one mahiyya from the other 
is beinunato, to be other. This otherness is tamayus. Va mughayratuha laha. This mahiya is mughayron letelka al maimis. This other than that, different from that, separate, distinct, whatever you call it. The haythu lata tasadaqan. They cannot both least apply to one thing. Tatasadaqan means both don't apply to one thing. You cannot find one thing which is insan and the same thing is faras. What makes insan different from faras? Because insan is natiq, faras is not natiq, so they are separate. Although they are both haywan, but because of natiq, they are separate. What is tashakhus? This was tamayus. To be particular, mahiya should be in the way that it's impossible to be applied to more than one. Not insan as such, but a, a, a human being like Zaid is particular, is mutashakhis. Amr is mutashakhis. So from this, two things become clear. Tamayuz is relative. It's vasfun ezafi means in relation between two things, we say they are distinct from each other. Okay? For example, insan is distinct from horse. Because I, unless there are two things, there is other, you don't say distinct. Tashakhus is nafsi, means it's not relative. Tashakhus. One thing is particular. We don't compare it uh, to anything else. We say Zayd is Mutashakhis. Second point which becomes clear. To be distinct would not contradict and conflict with being Kulli. And sun is distinct from horse and both of them are Kulli. Yeah. Mahiya is kulli. Even if you say insane qasir, insane tawil, still it's kulli. If the human being is tall, human being which is tall and which is, you know, heavy, which is tall and heavy and male. We see tall and heavy and male and old. Tall and heavy and male and old and alim and poet. Even if you add ten or hundreds of mahiya to each other, they all, uh, still remain kulli. If you remember, I think in the previous book I mentioned this, that even if you make it so narrow that at each time can be only one person. For example, you say, the human being, which is man, which is 20 years old, which is this size, this weight, and is sitting on this chair at 8 o'clock. Still, this is kulli. No, still, it's kulli. Because we can have two people or more with the same characteristics. At each time, one person can see. Like wajibul wujud. Wajibul wujud is only one. But mafhum, the concept is kulli. So this is very important po point that we will mention later. That Farabi noticed this, and then after Farabi, Mullah Sabra emphasized that unless you bring a wujud, you don't have tashakhus, because mahiyat and mafahim are always kulli. They are in as long as they are in mind, they are kulli. Tamayuz would not contradict or 
conflict with kulliyah. Fa inna zimam kulliyan ila kulli la yujibul juz'iyah. If you add kulli to kulli, it would not cause to be particular. Wala yantahi ilayya. It would not end with juz'iyah. Even if you repeat, you keep adding kulli to kulli. Bikhilaf at tashakhus. But tashakhus from the beginning is juz'iyah. Okay. Now, how two mahiyah can be distinct? This is what I have already told you. إن التميز بين ماهيتين إما بتمام ذاتهما. Two mahiya are distinct from each other either because of all their essence, all of it is different. كل أجناس العالية البسيطة. Like the high genus at the top. أجناس جنس الأجناس. They are also simple because they don't have جنس and فاس. They are simple, they are basit. So one is cam, one is cave. They are totally different. As low kana bayna jinsayna aliyain mushtara kundati kana jinsan lahuma. Because if they have something common, that would be their genus. So that would be higher than them. Fokahuma. Vakat forza jinsayna aliyain. But we have supposed that these are the highest. So they cannot have anything in common between them. Hadha khilafun fark. Kulfu. Wa emma be baaz is that. Sometimes they are distinct because of part of the essence is different. Part is common, but the part of it is different and makes them separate. وَهَذَا فِي مَا كَانَ بَيْنَهُمَا جِنْسٌ مُشْتَرَكٌ When they have common genus, then they become distinct because of the other part which is not common. فَيْتَانْتَ مَا يَزَانِ بِفَسْلَيْنِ Then they become distinct because of differentia. Of course, this differentia might not be necessarily the nearest one or the last one. Kal insani wal faras or kal insani wal shajar kal insani wal hajar faras, shajar, hajar with insan. Wa imma bil kharaj min azzat sometimes they are distinct because of their essence being the same but there is something outside like height. Two and son, but they have different height. وَهَذَا فِي مَا إِذَا اشْتَرَكَتَ فِي الْمَاهِيَةِ النُّوِيَةِ They are similar in their no. Their mahiyat al-nu'iyah is the same. فَتَتَمَايَزَانِ بِالْأَعْرَاضِ الْمُفَارَقَةِ They are distinct because of a'raz which are mufarak. A'raz comes and goes. If it is a'raz al-lazim, like imkan, then they would be the same. A'raz al-mufarak means sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. Then can bring differences. كل إنسان الطويل المتميز بطوله من الإنسان القصير. A human being which is tall, a human being which is short, they are separate because of height which is not part of insania. It can be with insan, it can be not. Yes. وها هنا قسم رابع. This is the last point for today. أثبته من جوز تشكيك في الماهية. Those who said we can have تشكيك in ماهية, they have permitted, they have allowed this type of تميز. But as you remember, we said based on discussion we had before, and Mullah Sadr says, we said ماهية cannot have تشكيك. Uh, only existence can have degrees because mahiya is either there or not there. Either something is wood or not wood. You cannot say this is more wood. Either something is cat or not. You cannot say this is more cat. Yes? Asbatahu man tashkika fil mahiya. Those philosophers who have permitted a load. Tashkik in Mahiyah, which we don't accept. They said we can have another type of distinction between Mahiyah based on Tashkik. Means they are the same in their Mahiyah, only degrees are different. Two things which have the same no, means their Mahiyah is the same, James Fast and everything is the same, but they are different in. Intensity and weakness, 
or taqaddum and ta'akhur. Precedence, you remember, taqaddum and ta'akhur, we discuss inshallah later, and other things. Fi ain ruju'aha ila ma bihil ishtiraq. Because tashkik is that ma bihil ishtiraq and ma bihil ikhtilaf are the same. They are the same in being light, for example, but they are different also in being light, which means in their degree, for example. But Allah says, Al haqqu Allah tashkika illa fi haqiqatil wujud. But the truth is that tashkik can only be in reality of existence, even not in the mahiya of wujud. Not mafhum al wujud, haqiqatul wujud. Mafhum al wujud is mine. Which is mushtarak manavi. But haqiqatul wujud, wujud outside, that is mushakkak. Wa fiha yajri hazal qism min al ikhtilaf wa In wujud, we can say there is difference because of tashkik, but not in mahiyah. So, how two mahiyah are distinct from each other? Be tamam al zat, or be juz al zat, or the arazan mufaragan lazat. These are three ways that two mahiyah can be separate. So, how Zayd and Amr and Bakr are different? Because of araz. Because Zayd and Amr and Bakr, their mahiyah is the same. So, uh, their araz make them different according to level of tamayus. But then the next issue is tashakhus to be one, really one, to be juz'i haqiqi. Some people thought this comes when you add too many mahiyat and narrow it down, but according to Farabi and Mullah Sadr, no. Mahiyah is kulli. You add another kulli, it still is kulli. You add another, maybe you are narrowing down, but never becomes one. It's only wujud, haqiqatul wujud, real wujud that can make something really one. But we leave it, inshallah, for... Next session. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.